everyone. Welcome to Airport CEO. So Airport CEO came out about the end of September 2017. Uh, there was a lot of hype about the game, and I will say it seemed as though that the hype was more than what the game gave at the time. Um, but now after playing it off camera for a little while and really getting into the game, uh, I will say I really do enjoy it. Um, since I completed Sim Airport, I figured, you know what, why not go ahead and delve back into another airport simulator building game such as this one. Uh, so in March of 2018, uh, so just last month, just a little while ago, uh, the devs came out with the alpha version 26, which fixed a lot of bugs, a lot of pathfinding changes, and added a whole lot of performance updates to the game. Uh, now, in order to see the full-fledged information about that, click down in the description below. There's a lot more information down there for that. Speaking of the description down below, go ahead and check that out for my Instagram, my Facebook, my um, donation page, everything you want to know about me. Go ahead and look in the description down below for that. Now, why don't I go ahead and stop rambling and let's build an airport, shall we? Okay, now starting out here at the very beginning, we're going to go ahead and obviously we're going to do a new airport. We're going to begin a new adventure. Now, in order to begin this adventure here in Airport CEO, you have to create yourself as the CEO of this airport. So what I think we'll do is honestly, I'm liking the face. I like the way the face is. I like the eyes. Granted, they don't match my eyes, you know what, so we're going to change that. We're going to go ahead and change the eyes to match my eyes, and we're going to be green. We're going to have green eyes. Uh, hair color, we're going to go a little darker. Uh, we're going to go there. I'm definitely not going to go here yet, because even though I'm getting there, it's not happening just yet. So <laughs> we're going to go, we're going to go here. You know, too bad you can't do like a little bit of a mix, you know, but uh, that's neither here nor there. But anyway, uh, skin color. I ain't that white. <laughs> I'm going to tone it down a little bit. I got a little bit of a tan, so I think that should be good. Nose, mouth, and suit. Well, what about the suit? I'm not much of a tie person, so I think we'll go ahead and go with this one without the tie. A little, you know, unbutton there at the top, you know. I think we're good. I think that'll be okay. Now, name. Well, you know what? We'll go ahead and use my real name. We'll go ahead and put Ryan T as the last name. Now... Where do we want to start? Where do we want to go? Where do we want our airport to go? Hmm. I mean, I'm in the United States and I could do the United States. But I, I feel like venturing out. I feel like going somewhere different. Eh, maybe. You know what? Let's go to Paris. Why not Paris? We'll do Paris, France. We'll confirm airport location. Now. <laughs> This is the uh, this is probably the hardest uh, hardest part. You know, I think we'll go ahead and stick with um, Geminon International, Geminon International. And you know, for me and for those of you who like Battlestar Galactica, the planet Geminon, that's what I'm kind of going for here. You know, so you have the planet Geminon. We'll do Geminon International. Why not? Uh, now, ooh, airport code. Hmm, obviously a G. We'll go, let's see, G-I-I. We'll do that. Because, you know, Geminon is for the twins, and I-I is kind of a, a twin symbol, so we'll do that. Uh, airport logo. Actually, I like that one. That's actually kind of nice. We're not going to do sandbox mode. We're actually going to do, um, we're going to do a full-on career mode, um, but we're going to keep it easy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep it easy, mostly because I don't trust myself. <laughs> I really don't. And I want to give you guys a really good experience. So let's go ahead and get building on this airport. Now, I will say there's a couple things that have changed. Um, let's go ahead and read the, uh, the letter here real fast. So, dear Ryan, thank you for our last meeting, and I hope you like your new digs. I know it isn't much, but hopefully you'll be... Pardon me, you'll do better than the last person who tried to build our town's proud airport. You've got a lot of work ahead of you, so you'd better get into it. I can't give you any tips because I really don't know how to run an airport, but let me remind you that you have a budget. Yada, yada, yada. You know what? I'm not even going to read that. 
<laughs> okay, so biggest things we need to press tab to open and close the management panel. Uh, here you'll find everything that you need, staffing, so on and so forth. This is your control panel. Now, use the manuals panel for a guide instruction on how to build an airport. It can be pretty difficult. Uh, so we are going to kind of look into that just a little bit, just kind of get us started. Um, and then that's it. Best of luck to you. Best regards. Gregory Fonsworth Mayor. P.S. I've sent this letter to your inbox so you don't feel too lost. Good luck. Okay, got it. All right, so here we have our control panel and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you want to take a second, pause the game, take a look over that, go ahead. But I'm going to move on. Okay. So here we have the start of our airport. Now, one thing that's different from when the initial launch happened was that you had uh, six areas around your initial area and they were all X'd out. You didn't have any type of unlockability available, but now you can unlock these for $750,000 a piece. Now, you would be like, oh, well, that's a lot and there's too much and the space is too little. Trust me, it's not. <laughs> it's really not too little. This You can fit a lot in this big space. You really can. So what we want to do is, first things first, let's go ahead and go down here to our tutorial to our small airfield. Now, typically I don't usually start off with tutorials. However, you know, we kind of need to get a basis going. Um, plus, this is kind of a refresher for you, for me, and for any new person watching the game, kind of just now getting into this. So in this first tutorial, we're going to look at a small airfield preparing for construction. We already have a couple of things that we need. Um, next couple things that we need, we need to sign a contract for a contractor, deploy the contractor, and then wait for the contractor to arrive. Pretty darn simple. Now I am going to reference this a little bit just because I quite, I don't quite remember exactly where to go sometimes for this stuff. Not to mention the fact that they've kind of changed things around just a little bit. Um, in uh, in what we do and how we do it. So contracts, and that was under economy, contracts. And then we're gonna go ahead and sign this contract here. Now there's a lot of information in there and everything that, you know, if you wanna read it, you can go ahead and read it, but I ain't reading it. I'm just gonna sign it. <laughs> all right, now operations, we're gonna go over to construction and then we're gonna deploy all contractors. So that will get everyone over here. Now, what you can do in the tutorial is you can go ahead and skip this if uh, if you really want to. Um, that way you don't really have to, uh, you know, go through that whole thing. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to go in and I want to look at building a runway first and foremost. Now, trying to remember where all this crap is, that's the big thing here. <laughs> that's, that's what I need to figure out. So I think, I think the first runway that we build is going to go, I think I'm going to put it going in this direction. And I want to put it right there. Now, the next thing that I want to do, let's go ahead and get, uh, that's a taxiway node. I want uh, taxi foundation. Now with the foundations, I want to go three across. So I want it to be three squares. And I'm not going to come out too terribly far. Because the first thing that I want to do is I really just want to start making money. And that's that's the key in this game is to make money, obviously. That's, that's the key with any airport simulator game <laughs> is to make money. So we'll go ahead and put, uh, we'll put that down there. And then I'm going to take a couple of aircraft stands and I'm going to put, let's see, should be able to put, let's put two over here on this side. And then we'll put two over here on this side. And then our taxi node, the node has to come out from here and go into the taxiway. And it has to connect up. So you see where those are going to connect up there. Now let's get, and this is also the reason why I did... Um, I did three because it kind of gives a little bit more of a definition of where the, uh, oh, where the node needs to go. 
So that'll come all the way down here. And then we need to connect it to both sides of the runway because, you know, flights have to take off this way and that way. So we need to make sure we're covering all of our bases. So we'll have that go there. That is not what I wanted. Uh, node. You know, and I was saying um, that's not... No. No. I don't... I don't want that. <laughs> go away. No. Anyway. Huh. So uh, I was talking about, uh, you know, I was talking about the node on um, on Twitch, and every time I hear node, I think of Noid. It, it reminds me of the Noid from back in the '80s. I don't know why, but it does. It really, really does. Now, I'm gonna play a little game here. So this is the first episode. I'm gonna let this go for a couple of episodes and see if you guys can tell me what is the Noid. Who is the Noid? Where did that come from? That's what I want to know. I know where it came from, do you? All right, anyway. Let's see, so we have a couple of stands out here. Now, I need to, let's, sp <laughs> let's speed the game up here just a tad. That way, we're not having to wait forever. So, we've got all these runways over here and everything. Um, we are gonna need an ATC tower in order to Accept flights. So let's see infrastructure. Let's go to structures because I believe it's under. Yep. There it is um, And we're just gonna go with a small one for now. We're a very very tiny airport. We don't really need anything very large so let's go ahead and Honestly, I think I'm just gonna put I Think I'm just gonna put it right there Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna put it right there a small ATC tower can go right there May not be the best position to put it in, but that's where it's going to go. That's where I like it to go. And then, let's see. I Oh, I also need to set holding points. So to set a holding point, we'll right-click and we'll set a holding point there. And then I'm going to right-click and set another holding point there. Okay. All right, now in each of these stands... What I want to do with these, since they are not actually going to be connected to the actual terminal itself, we're just going to turn on general aviation. Now, the reason why we're going to just turn on general aviation is because it'll give flights a chance to just sit and park and use the airport basically as a rest stop um, in their travels. And eventually, we are going to um, give them the option to have, you know, refueling as well. So we have those two going there. We have two more coming in. We want to go ahead and open up the runway. We've already opened up those two stands. And you know what we need to do? We need to open up the airport. Um, that, would be, uh, that would be very helpful. So airport is now open for business. So we have general aviation flights happening. Uh, and then the next thing that we can do is always accept GA. So instead of having to go up here and click on the little button and everything, right? Instead of clicking on that, we can just go ahead, click on this over here under your overview and operations, and always accept those general avi aviation flights. So now that we have our four stands built, we are always going to accept those flights. So anytime a flight is ready to come in and land and use our services, they are more than welcome to. Next thing that we're going to do, double check and see what we're doing here. You know, it says service uh, five flights. So we're going to go ahead and just skip that, move on to the next thing. Now, we are going to have the ability to go ahead and right away um, fuel these planes up. Now, there's a couple different things that we're going to have to, that we can do with this, right? Um, why is this so dark? This is awful. Is there a way for me to, uh, I don't know if there's a way to game display settings. Um, clock setting, passenger, and yeah, no, no. There's unfortunately there's no way for me to uh, to brighten this up. It's gonna be a little dark here, so I apologize. I'm very sorry about that. Okay, moving on, moving on. Fueling. We're getting a lot done here right at the very beginning of this airport, but this is only just the beginning. It's only just the beginning. So much more to happen after this, so much more. So 
what I want to do is I really want to think about how the, uh, the, the fueling services are going to happen, right? So when I'm looking at this, I want to look at the, let's see, we have a vehicle checkpoint that we're going to need to put in here. Um, I have service roads that I have to put in here. Actually, let me go to service roads and then I need to connect these service roads up together. Okay. Then I'm going to need to, I need a structure. I'm going to need, let's see. Da, da, da. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to research. Haha. <laughs> I'm almost forgetting this. So unlock fuel technology through procurement, uh, build vehicle checkpoint, service road, vehicle depot, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, economy, procurement, and anti-spam. There we go. So I need to unlock that. It's not going to take too long. Not going to take too long at all. Now. Looking at, oh gosh, I wish I could make this brighter. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, okay, that works. <laughs> that works a little bit. And let's see. So infrastructure, service road. So the service road can actually go underneath or with the, um, the uh, taxiway there. So that's a good thing. That, that's definitely going to help out. What I would like to do is have the service road come to this way. And then we can probably have, let's see, the vehicle checkpoint. So the vehicles will come in that direction on the right. So I can put this there. We need to have a public road connect up there. And then we'll have to have the service road continue on down this way. Now, the reason why I am doing this back so far is just because, you know, when you think about when you think about a service road, right, you know that service roads are off the beaten path. The service roads you are not really privy to. You don't really see them a whole lot. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going to do here. We're just going to make it to where as soon as you come in, you go to the left of the service road, and then the service vehicles can go up here to uh, refuel all of this uh, stuff up here. We should have, should have that done now. So turning refueling, well, I can't turn refueling services on because I don't have a depot for it yet. Oops, my bad. All right, so we need a depot. I guess I can slow the game down just a little. All right, so vehicle depot. No, sorry, not a vehicle depot. Fuel depot. Now, the only one we have available to us right now is the AV Gas 100, which, believe it or not, this fits perfectly right in there. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. No, I don't want that there. No. No, I want it to go more in the center. So structures, fueling depot... And then I think what we'll do, position not available. What do you mean position? Oh, because <laughs> I'm looking at it wrong. So I can go ahead and put this, say right here, right in the middle. Now, as you can see, we don't have an actual airport going yet, but we have these general aviation flights that are sitting here and they're actually making us money right now. Right off the bat, we are making money. Yes, we're spending more money than what we're making. However, since we have these, they're using our services. So it's great. Making a little bit of money. Again, not breaking even, not making a profit yet, but we will eventually. All right, fuel depot and vehicle depot. Kind of forgot what I was doing there for a second. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you. Um... Basic vehicle depot used by airport. Why am I having an issue? Do I not have that yet? Build a vehicle depot. What's going on? Why am I having issues? Why? Uh, structures, vehicle. Okay, there we go. Not entirely sure what was going on there, but all right. It's probably me just being a dum-dum, which, you know, wouldn't surprise me at all. It really wouldn't kind of a doofus but that's how I am 
All right, so we have that going in there. Um, and that's actually it. That's the, that's, those are the last two things that we need. So we can go up here and we can go ahead and skip this. Now, the one thing that you were not allowed to do um, in the most recent game was, was skip <laughs> this part of it. You had to finish it before you could move on, which was kind of annoying. But we don't have to do that anymore. Um, all right, so we need to purchase gas. We need to sign a contract, uh, wait for fuel, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so basically we need to get fuel. So we need to go into uh, economy, contracts, and of course I don't have any contracts available yet because we're waiting on this stuff to get built. Now I should have, yeah, my guys are just taking a little while to get over there because they're building this road. Of course they are. All right, well, while we're waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now. And then I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to go into Regional Airport. Now, this is where the fun begins. But you know what? Let's go ahead and finish this up first before I even start in on, uh, on the airport itself, because <laughs> that is going to take a little while. But I will admit, though, I really like how this layout is going already so far. Now, you may be looking at this and going, why on earth do you have that kind of a road or a grass road instead of an asphalt road? Well, for one, right now it's cheaper uh, it, to build. <laughs> I mean, it's it, it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Um, let's see. Honestly, I can't see the, the pricing on it. Um, but I know it's cheaper. I know we can upgrade it if we really, really want to, but I don't really feel like doing it right now. Okay, so contracts. We now have nat nature fuel. I almost said natural fuel. Nature fuel is now available uh, with uh, AV gas at 0 0.005 cents per liter and then jet A1 aviation fuel 0 0.01 basically one cent per liter. So we're gonna go ahead and sign that. Don't really have a choice, it's the only one we have, it's the only one available, no big deal. Um, and then a new feature here on the runway um, is the large aircraft, which are coming soon. So that'll be really interesting. That wasn't even an option before, but now it is, love it, absolutely love it. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm talking really, really fast. And if I am, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited about this game for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of crazy. It is. It's kind of crazy. Um, I will say, though, that, uh, again, loving the general aviation, loving how we're, uh, we're making money on that right now, actually. So that's pretty good. So if you want to make money pretty quickly... You know, do a little setup kind of like this. Get your uh, general aviation going in here. And you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and build. Let's see. Give me aircraft stand and small. Oh, I'm going to have to get rid of that, though, if I do that. Eh, crap. All right. How many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. So let me get rid of that. Let me get rid of four or five. That. And then that way I can get the uh, stand in here. That's the only thing. I wish they would let you... Um, I wish they would let you build the stand on top of the service road that you've already built. That would make things so much easier. It really would. Okay, there we go. This way it just kind of gives us, you know, a little bit more... In, in a sense of, you know, what we want, what we need. Just by getting those in there. Just making a little bit more money. So you know what? I think we're good. We've got a good start. We've got a really good start. Next episode, we are going to... And, and I know it's short. You know, I know this is a really, really short one. But, you know, we have the basics down. We have the small airfield basics down. We have our uh, stuff in here. We've got flights coming in, general aviation flights coming in. And you know what? Let's go ahead and start real fast 
on where exactly do we want our stuff to go? That's the big question, right? Where exactly do I want this stuff to go? So I think what I want to do is I want to create... Yeah, I'm, okay, yeah, I'm not going to stop yet. <laughs> I'm not going to stop yet. Uh, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Um, so down here, I think, is where I want to have my parking area. So why don't we do... We'll do a public road. Just keep it one away from that. And I'll go to, let's see, that's 37, so 38, or 36. Let's go 36. To there, and then this, hang on, let me pause the game. Because I want to make sure that this is going to fit right in here. So let's do... Because this is going to be a huge parking area. So I want bus stops all down through here. Let's see, that's four. One, two, three, four. Actually, that works out really well. That works out really well. So then I'll have a public road go in between there. That way these buses, instead of having to come out all the way this way and come back around, they can cut through. So I'll do eight bus stops. I'm actually going to do more bus stops than that, probably. Uh, let's do a car drop off. Actually, let me do the car drop off here. Four, five, six, seven. 8, 12, 16. Honestly, I think that's good. I think that's good. So we'll do, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, bus stop. Same thing over here. We'll just put 8 buses over here. Yeah, I like the way that looks. I do. That's a really, really good. Yeah. That's good. I think it's good. It works for me. So we'll leave that like that. We'll go ahead and play the game. Let them get this built up in here. And then our, our terminal will go ahead and start. Hmm. We'll start it over here. But I really want to think about, I really want to think about how I'm going to plan this out. I really want to look at how are the queue lines going to go? How's the check-in going to go? What is security going to look like? How do we get in and out of this airport? All that kind of fun stuff, right? All that kind of fun stuff. Um, oh, it doesn't have a node connection. Yeah, I need to fix that. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and leave it there then. We have a really good start on where we're going to go ahead and uh, basically put our um, put our stuff. And that's what we're going to do next time. I think we'll go ahead. We're definitely going to get the terminal started and probably get ticketing and stuff like that taken care of too. So, but let me know what you guys think. You know, so we had airport CEO that we just finished up. Now we've got this that we're doing. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Again, don't forget about the Noid. Don't forget about that Noid. And if you find a picture of the Noid, definitely put it in the comment section below. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time.